All right, YouTube. I'm a YouTube noob. Never actually did a video before, but this is the brake rotor barbecue Olympic plate forge that I just finished building. Um, pretty easy, simple construction. It's a uh, took the wheels off. This is an old barbecue. Took the wheels off. Took the handle off. I had a 35 pound Olympic plate here that I cut the center out and I had a brake rotor from a 74 Bronco that I changed out the, uh, the brakes on kept the old rotor um, and then everything else this is an inch and a half pipe cap that goes through the center of the uh, Olympic plate which I might take that out and just drop this um, rotor down so I don't have this huge gap here. I was going to fill this in with a refractory cement around the uh, the perimeter here, but I, I might not do that. I might just take this and drop it down, move, get rid of the Olympic plate, just drop the whole thing down. Uh, what I did is the cutout piece of the Olympic, Olympic plate I used to bolt to the bottom of the brake rotor. Uh, and then down below is just two inch Schedule 40 black pipe. This is a six inch piece, a T, three inch piece, two inch cap, 12 inch piece, two by two fern co fitting. And then I got a $10 Walmart blow dryer here, 1875 watt, I think it is. And then the stand is just some six by uh, four by six and two by four that I had um, that I just notched up quick and put together. I was going to make this stand out of steel, which I intend on doing. It's just that I wanted to just fab something up quick to see how it worked. Uh, it's pretty easy to move around. I can just pick up the front here, and it runs around like a, basically like a little trailer. It's easy to walk with because of the taper to the front. She's got taper, so uh, tapers front to back. So you just put your hook your hand around here, and as you're walking, it doesn't crack in the ankles which is cool. Um, the stand probably took me, uh, I did that about a week ago. Can't really recall how long it took. Um, I judge stuff and <laughs> I judge projects in beers and how many F-bombs I drop. And if it's really bad, it's how many tools I throw. Um, so that stand was probably a six pack. And maybe, actually I didn't have any F-bombs on that one, so that was zero F-bombers. And the little forge here, this guy, actually drilling out this plate was the toughest part and cutting it out. All I used, everything I did here was just with an angle grinder and a drill, half inch drill, DeWalt, um, and a bunch of cutoff wheels. So uh, this was probably a six pack remnants. And that was about two or three F bombs because I caught the drill and had some nice gymnastics going on there. Um, other than that, seems to work pretty good. Harnessed. Again, forgive me, first YouTube video. Works pretty good. Pumps us out, pumps us in there pretty good. So I'm gonna light a little fire there. We got some kindling just throwing there. And See how it works. I can get coal pretty cheap around here. It turns out about six dollars for a forty-pound bag, which isn't too bad. Um, and then when all is said and done, this uh, that fits right on top, latches it up. So I'm gonna try it out. My son and I were messing around. We dinked up a few rebar. We lit it up before. It worked good without the brake rod around there. It worked pretty good. We smashed a little bit of rebar. Bent a little coal rake. So, fire it up, see how it is. Anybody's interested, you know, I'll take it apart and post some videos and exactly how it came together. Again, this is my first YouTube video, so see how it works out.